Okay, let's see. Uh oh, did I send the wrong link? Uh -oh. All right. Oh, there's Braddock. No, you're Hi, okay, we're just setting up real quick, guys. One second. Where is that? Did you stop it? I don't know how to pin the there There's Jesse, yay. You scroll and then you double. All right, let me, now I need to log in. One second, party people. Uh oh. Where is it? Oh my goodness. There it is. Okay. We need a theme song. Yeah, we need a theme song. Can somebody sing? Terrible? No. <laughs> I need copy. Okay, join without video. So I can see all of you beautiful people. <laughs> all right, great. <laughs> That's your theme song. I like that one. All righty. Okay. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. We haven't done this in a while with a cameraman, but I'm so excited. There is a, where's Kinsey at home? Hi, Kinsey. Yay. There's Braddock. There's Red. There's Malachi. Yes. There's Gray. <gasps> Aubrey. Whoa, Aubrey, you're like in Hawaii. Whoa. She's in Hawaii. Oh, she is. Look at the background. What? Okay. All right. Well, anyway, hi, guys. Welcome. To um, what's Saturday? Wait, Sunday. Sunday kids art class. I got my assistant back, Parabo, and she found a little animal friend. <laughs> what is your name? I'm Ellie. Look in the I'm Ellie. Okay, so we have some friends here today, um, and yeah, let's get ready. We're gonna draw a rainforest. <sighs> so I thought today we should do some like breathing exercises because I. We were so stressed getting ready, and I think it's really important for kids and adults and everyone to do some breathing exercises if you ever need to calm down, like I think I need to. So let's all practice, and let's just take three deep breaths, and then we'll hold the last one and let it out. So let's take a deep breath in, and out. A deep breath in, and out. You can make a noise you want. And deep breath in, hold it, and you can roar when you let it out. <sighs> okay, oh wait, and then Jesse just reminded me, you guys know yoga breaths? Do you know lion's breath? How do you do that again? You go, stick your tongue out, and you go, <sighs> and then there's one more, there's horse's breath, which I do all the time when I'm, um, stressed out and I need to breathe, I just go. <clears throat> so let's practice that. <clears throat> so if you guys are ever stressed or you need to calm down, just practice a deep <clears throat> breath. Okay, okay, but not like that because that can stress you out even more. All right, so I think everyone did some breathing. I think we're feeling good. Now let's, yeah, okay, no, we, we, did, we, we did breathing instead. So now let's practice our drawing. All right, so like, like we used to, let's do some quick exercises. Oh. Cameraman, turn your phone off, please. Okay, so this is just, this is just gonna be our, um, our exercises page. So what I'm gonna do is, I don't know where Izzy is. We're drawing this for Izzy, but oh well. Oh, are we recording? You are. Okay, good. Okay, so let's divide our page so it's into four. 
Okay. So we have four sections. This is going to be our little toolbox. And since we're drawing the rainforest, I think what we're going to do is, oh, you know what? Let me move this so the girls can see. Okay. So now let's think of, wait, let me, you know what? I can't hear everybody in case they want to talk. So remember, you guys, please unmute if you have something to say. It could be, well, almost anything. And later I want to hear about Aubrey's uh, trip to Hawaii. Okay, so let's, what kind of plants are in the jungle? So let's just flowers. practice. Flowers. Okay, well, let's just practice doing some shapes. So let's, can you zoom in please? It's not. So let's do some, practice some round shapes like that. Practicing. Just practice making some shapes. Practice making shapes for leaves. Maybe some are pointy, maybe some are rounded. And then I'm um, trying to go slow, so let me know, you guys. I'm practicing also this shape where it's, um, the leaf is like this. I'm drawing light, but they're, they're kind of broken. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> See, it was a good thing I practiced, and so now I will remember not to have my spiky part coming out. So you guys have probably seen some of these plants. You can also make a line, like a stem, and practice making leaves coming, coming out. Any other shapes that you guys think of, but this is the time to just like practice, practice, get all the, your doodles out, get all the giggles out. And that way, when you do it again for your final or for your other drawing, it'll be better. So the more times we do something, the better we get at it, the nicer and cleaner the shape will be. Kind of like when you play sports and the more you play it, the better you get. But also this is art, so there's no rules. We just wanna have fun, and, but we wanna be able to draw what we want. Oh, this is a cool one too. If you guys want to practice this shape. Let me see, I've got all these different shapes I have planned. Where is that one? There it is, this little guy. Okay, so this one's tough, but I'm gonna draw a line. And then coming out of it, we're gonna be these little guys. So I'm drawing this light, and then later I'm gonna practice outlining. So you don't have to draw the line underneath with the, the first thing that I drew. That was kind of just a guide because sometimes if you, let's say, watch, I'll do it over here. If I would do that without the guide, sometimes it just might not come out very even. See, it looks a little funny, but when you have a little guide and you draw light, it'll look a little better. But again, the other cool part, we're drawing nature, and nature, there's no real rules. It's not like drawing a face and the eyes have to be in a certain place. Right, Jesse? Like landscape painting. <laughs> okay, so what else do we find? Oh yeah, there's a, let's practice some tree barks. So, one thing in the rainforest is there's lots of skinny trees that have, uh, here where you can look over there different branches coming through, like that. There's also skinny trees that are kind of, as my, as Parabo's grandpa says, like they're witch trees. So they have these kind of jaggedy kind of curves, these, these contour lines. You can also remember with contour lines, we can, if we draw, uh, these lines going around the tree that helps make it feel and look round. Like this. Yeah, because you can, like, even on, if you guys see palm trees. Yeah. They actually have the lines. Are there palm trees in the jungle or in the rainforest? Does anyone know? Yes. There are? Okay, good. I see Parable and Kinsey say yes. 
Alrighty. Um, there's also like bushes, so we can practice these. Actually, our next one will be shapes. Oh, the one thing also, vines, lots of vines. So let's just practice making these little swoopy lines that'll be vines coming from the trees. So lots of practice lines behind lines behind lines. All right, in the next box, I know I'm kind of rushing, but I want to get to the drawing, is we'll just practice big shapes that can be leaves or bushes, because we're going to need a lot of that. Sometimes it looks like clouds, but just practice making different interesting bumps. It could be a big plant, it could be a big bush, it could be a big cloud, cloud. it could be anything, a big, a, a large, you know, flower bed. I don't have any jokes for you guys, at least not yet, so we're going to be very concentrated in our drawing. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, and if you guys did all that, tell me if I'm going too fast, but the next one we're going to practice, like, because a few of the animals we're going to draw kind of wrap around trees. So let's just practice a tree branch. And let's practice something wrapping around it. So I made two lines for the branch, and now I'm doing two curves. One. Two. One, two. Oops. And then you would erase the inside if you want. I'm going to do one more. There's the branch. Now this one is going to be like, a, it could be vines, it could be a snake. I'm going to practice the, like kind of more of a twist looking thing. So I'll start that, zoom in a little slower. First, I make that little twist shape, kind of like a long, a long, if somebody kind of elongated an S, and then another one. And I'll close it off over here. You can also just do like an S and an S, long, long S, S, and then curve the bottoms. Anyway, that's a tough one, so. I mean, look, I'll make an S shape, S shape. And then at the bottom, I'll close it. And the top, I'll close it, add like a little bump. S shape, S shape. You could also just make it really simple and do curve, 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 and then bump, 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 bump. They're not very pretty, but that's why I'm practicing. So it should feel like something's wrapping around a tree, whether it's an animal or a vine. Can we see yours? All right, so I think that's pretty good for our toolbox. Remember, it's just a practice one. So let me put that aside so I can refer to it. And let me get my big paper for, do you guys need a paper? We have them. Okay. For our rainforest. Okay, I'm gonna use this large paper. I don't know which side is better. Yeah, this one. Okay, there we go. So we can have it landscape mode, that's horizontal. And let's start, so. Hmm, first we're gonna create like kind of an environment for our animals. So I think I know for sure that I'm gonna want one like tree branch coming through the side here. So I'm just gonna make this line. And now behind it, I know I'm gonna want a tree, so. You guys can change it up and make whatever kind of tree you want. This is just where I'm starting. Has
Has anyone ever been to the rainforest? You can raise your hand or you can unmute. No, have we ever been? I don't think we have. Ellie, have you? No, I think Braddock has. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Um, now right here, we'll do another smaller tree because remember it's gonna be further away. Well, Parabo's dad has, right? <laughs> That's kind of a weird tree. <laughs> but I can change it. Or maybe, you know, I'm sure there's a tree that exists like that. And in the rainforest, there's just tons and tons and tons of trees, right? There's so many trees. So I'm going to practice those these shapes that we were doing. And let's just make a lot of them here so it feels like we're, there's so many trees we can't even see the sky. And if you really want, you can make some individual uh, leaves but for the most part, um, we'll just make like a big shape and that represents a cluster, a bunch of leaves all together. Let's see, I'll let you guys draw for a second. Okay. I, ha I do have a joke for you guys. Okay, what kind of a snake would you find on a car? Snake that you would find on a car. A windshield viper. <laughs> Get it? Instead of a windshield viper. <laughs> And then also, why are tigers terrible, terrible storytellers? I don't know. They only have one tail. <laughs> one tail to tell. <laughs> I have a tree joke. Ooh, it's here. Uh, gonna... What do you call a tree that was, be was being mean? A tree that was being mean. Hmm. The not giving tree. No, it was you. You'd call it a naughty tree because oh, trees. They have knots. I like that, Kinsey. That's a good one. Okay, so see, I made this line here. I think I'm going to put my sloth here. Sloth or a snake. I like to put lots of. Uh, I want to put lots of animals that hang in trees in the rainforest. Since oh my gosh, hi, Kinsey's brother. <laughs> Is he in the rainforest? Okay. So here, this, here's this tree right here. I'm gonna draw it light because uh, if we draw some thing hanging onto it, it might need, um, we might need to do some erasing. Here's another tree top. Uh, maybe, oh, you know what, let me draw a straight tree here. Jaggedy straight. That's the cool thing with nature. Nothing really has to make a lot of sense, but um, yeah, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna do a um, waterfall. Do you think there's a waterfall in the rainforest? Yes. I think so. So thank you, Bray. We sh waterfalls are fun anyway. And when, like, if, if I had time to, we'll see how much time we have. If I have time to color it in, I like to do, make sparkles coming out of the waterfall. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna pretend there's like a mountain ridge here. So, okay. This kind of a shape, a little slant and another slant. And then the water's gonna come from here. Here's another level where it turns and goes down. And then I'm gonna make a straight line here. That's where the water will land. There might be like a little, I don't know, pond or something. So straight, 
And I'm going to mimic that same line as before. And yours can be slightly different, but just to somehow have like a, it could even just be a triangle shape, some kind of like a mountain or ridge, and then um, waterfall that usually goes down, it hits something, and there's like a little shelf and goes down again. And I don't even know what's up here, but I can just make shapes. There's a rock. I'm not drawing too much down here because I don't know where I'm going to put the animals yet. So we'll figure that out. Maybe here's some sort of plants. And oh, you know what? Let's practice that one drawing leaves. Okay, I like that. Maybe one more tree over here. And you know what, after this, we're just gonna start drawing the animals because we can easily fill in more plants and trees and shapes. One more little guy over here. And you can make it your own world. A whole new world. I'm just kidding, where's Ripley? She's ready to sing for us. I like to do these squiggles for the water to show that the water's flowing down. That's maybe where it lands. We need to figure out if we're gonna put any animals in the water. I did. Like, I don't know what animal. You think we can fish? Yeah, fish might work. What? Parabone, she already drew animals and everything. <laughs> well, it's your drawing, there's no rules. So you could jump ahead or do whatever you want. Nice work, Ellie. Let's take a look at Ellie's. Oh, I love that waterfall placement. Beautiful trees. Yeah, just make it your own. Natalia? Yes? I'll tell, I'll tell this, doesn't it sort of look like a little bit different than the Jungle Cruise? Yeah! Oh but my I'll, goodness. But I'll tell you something that doesn't relate to that. Okay. It doesn't have the place to do the backside of water. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Have you guys ever been to Disneyland? When you're on the jungle cruise yeah it's so funny we go a lot oh i love disneyland until this coronavirus yeah when it's all over we should all go i know <laughs> i want to go on the new star wars ride mm -hmm. okay so now let's practice some wrapping so first i'll practice on this tree some vines wrapping look i'm just doing making it simple curves so there's lots of vines I wonder why, because it's wet and there's lots of things growing. Mm -hmm. See, the cameraman knows everything. If I have a question, I just ask him. They have to reach for the sun. So they climb up to the top to get the sun. Who has to reach for the sun? The vines. Oh, the vines. The plants have to reach for the sun. <laughs> What's so funny, little one? Because the top is called the canopy. I thought you meant. I thought you meant like the monkeys have to climb up the tree. That's what I thought you were saying too. Okay, so now oh, you know I'm gonna do like like a little. Sometimes there's little hangy vines. All right, so now first animal. Let's do a sloth. I love sloths. Do you guys like sloths? Are yeah. sloths really fast and really run around, or are they? Really slow. Parable? Slow. Were you saying answering slowly because the sloth is slow? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So practice and let's do really lightly right here. It's gonna the sloth is gonna be hanging upside down on this vine on this uh, branch here. So I'm gonna practice this curve shape. Like this, almost like a you know, moon or something. Pen. I don't have a pen, honey. Um, so I'm going to do a circle where his head's going to be. It's going to be kind of more like a sideways circle a little bit. Remember, draw lightly because we're probably going to erase a little bit. I need my notes. And now, right up here by the head, it's going to be a line connecting to the branch, like a curve, curve, curve line. 
and the, now we'll make the body. So along the head, I'm gonna do a darker line, following the line of the head, and then going like this. Maybe I'll draw this darker so you guys can see. Oh, sorry. And we'll, the bottom will go and wrap around the branch. I'll draw around the head here too. And now, right in the middle of here is gonna be another hand. So if you want, you can draw it with your pencil first lightly and it's gonna wrap around the branch. So one and two. And then this, maybe I'll make it fatter. And now the bottom one, it'll come out from under this arm, that'll for the leg and wrap like that. So now I'm gonna color it in with my, or uh, outline it with my marker. If you want, you can make little shaggy, jaggedy marks that look like hair. Oh, and you know what, the, the, the top hand, I'm gonna have it wrapping around. And you know, what? sloths have some claws. So I'm gonna have three, oh, terrible. <laughs> Make sure no one knocks it over. You, there's the three toed sloth. Can't really see the toes that well, but I tried to make three. And then Parable bumped into me, but that's okay. Oh, we need a head. So, inside, let me erase so you guys can see. I love erasing. The best invention ever. We'll make a little, uh, almost like a rounded triangle, upside down triangle kind of a thing. I think that's kind of what their heads look like they have like a little pattern and then inside make an eye like this and like this two eyes maybe a little nose and then something wrapping around for the face I think that's kind of what they look like Remember, you can keep erasing and drawing it over if you, if you want, or just leave it, because it's your own sloth. I love sloths. So now I'm able to, behind him, if you want, you can draw some um, trees or plants. Now you can kind of fill it in, if you would like. Whatever you want, like that's the cool part about the rainforest. There's so many plants, so you could just make big leaves behind them, whatever you want. Alrighty, I think we're ready for our next animal. Hmm, Ellie, would you like to do a snake or a monkey next? Monkey. Monkey, okay. Oh, somebody said something? Nope, maybe not. Okay, monkey. So, uh, buh, 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 buh. yep, we'll do, I only have one monkey. Okay, we'll do a monkey kind of walking around. Um, you know, maybe, hmm, we'll do him right here, actually. But you guys can put him wherever you want. So, this is just gonna be a simple monkey that's walking. We can also do a monkey in a tree. Maybe we'll do that after. So I'll start with the head. So it's rounded, but it's a teensy bit pointy at the bottom like this. Like so. And now for the body. So I'm gonna practice like a oval shape here very lightly, but I'm gonna, um, so I'm gonna do a very light oval here. And now from the head, I'm gonna finish the body going like this and like that. I know it looks almost like a duck. Right. <laughs> but we're just gonna keep it simple. And on the back, we're gonna draw a straight line 
straight line. They kind of have like hands, so we're just gonna leave it however, however you like. We'll do the front. What do you guys call it? Front hand? Is it a hand? No. What is it then for a monkey? It's a the back and the front are both hands. Right. So okay. So hands is right. Yeah. yeah um, <laughs> sure. Right. You know, I don't like my body is kind of fat, so. I don't like mine. Let me make it a little skinnier on the top. See, good thing I have a eraser. When I was practicing earlier, I did it the right way. There. That makes it look more monkey-like. But I think what really is gonna make like it look- Does this look like a lemur? I don't know, honey, let me check in just a sec. To make it look more like a monkey, first I'm gonna do the ears. So they have big ears, right? And then big upside down line like that. And if you want, you can do another one kind of covering that, going over that one. And however you want, you put little eyes and they have like a little nose and smile. What am I forgetting on this? Tiger. No, on the monkey. The tail. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Very good. The cameraman said a handbag. What? What's a handbag? A purse. There, I wanted mine curled. You can do it, whatever you want with yours. Okay, but yeah, have you noticed all the rainforest animals are animals that could go into the trees? I just noticed that. I feel really smart, you guys. <laughs> Crocodiles can't go into the trees. Well, I'm not drawing a crocodile. Okay, if you guys are ready to move on, let's do a snake. I'm going to do a snake wrapped, wrapping around this tree. You can make one swimming in the water, you can make one anywhere you want, but I'm going to make one wrapping around this tree. So remember we practice all the wrapping. So how am I going to do this? Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to start over here. Do that curve, like it's a, a ring around the tree, it's like a C shape, another curve. Almost looks like a bracelet. And then again up here, curve, curve. And however thick you make it, that, that, that'll show what kind of snake it is. Usually they're, if they're big, they're gonna be pretty thick. So you don't wanna make skinny lines, like don't make it like this. Uh oh, that would look funny. But what if it was, what, but you have to make it thinner and thinner to the tail because the tail is really thin. That's true. Well, I'll have the tail coming out over here. Um, okay, you know what? Maybe it's the head, right? So it wraps, doo, doo, doo. one more, but I'm gonna extend that going out. Mimic that line, extend it coming out. And now let's practice like the shape of the head of the head is going to be like this kind of a thing, that kind of a shape. So I'm going to make the head coming out right there. What kind of eyes? Uh, yes, honey. Let me let me draw a little eye over here, eye over here. Maybe it's a happy snake. And then his tail. They usually have like an upside down Y. So it's a line with an, it goes into, and then it separates into two. I have a snake fact. <gasps> Let me hear a snake fact. I thought you were going to say you have a snake. <laughs> um, okay, so snakes don't have eyelids. They don't? So no, their, they eyes don't. Stay, their eyes they stay open all the time? Yeah, they they even sleep with their eyes open. Oh my goodness! Wow. And also, once we had this thing I'm at proud. my brother's school, and I would go there for summer, and we were doing they were doing an animal show, and I got to hold a python. No way! Was it all slithery and? It feels squishy. Ooh. Do you guys like snakes? Yeah, Herbo and Ellie say yes. 
My Bryce, dad's you like snakes, right? You like snakes? Okay. Anybody here? Scale oh, Bryce does not like snakes. Any, oh, yeah, we have a friend who's so scared of snakes. And we my saw dad, one on our walk. My dad's really scared of snakes. Well, yeah, they can be dangerous and poisonous. Okay. So who wants to vote? Kinsey, since your mic is on, would you like a jaguar or a toucan? I like jaguars. Okay. Uh, okay, baby or not baby? Baby. Yay, everyone loves a baby. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna make a jaguar. Mom said I like babies. You love babies. Wait, what? <laughs> um, and then Parable, after this, can you show everyone how to draw a toucan? Is that okay with you? I thought I was gonna show how to draw a sloth. Either way. Okay. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna make him big just because. I hope I can remember how to do this. But remember, you can just erase. So I'm gonna start with the head. So I'm just gonna make this rounded shape here. This is gonna be a little cartoony, but that's okay. Um, and then below that, I'm gonna make this shape. So it's almost like, hmm. I know it's gonna be a big one. It's close, but also this is closest to us. So when we talked about perspective, when you look at things, when it's close to you, it looks bigger, right? When it's far away, it looks far, uh, it's smaller. Like right now, look at the palm trees behind Aubrey. They look small because they're further away. Oh my gosh, Aubrey, there's an animal behind you. Just kidding. <laughs> That'd be cool if your backgrounds could move. Okay, so now, let's see. Oh yeah, so coming from right here, we're gonna draw a swirl, a, 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 a what is it called? <laughs> what am I tail. thinking of? Like a curved shape, no, no, no. Tail, parable, come on. Yes, like they this. have tails. I know they do. And then I'm just gonna prepare and do two circles here. That's gonna be the pause and one more here. So just draw them lightly because that's where they're gonna be. All right, now going back to the head. Now I'm gonna make my, my real contour lines that are gonna create the shapes. So first I'm gonna start lightly where the ear, where I want the ears, cause, and do it light cause you might need to move them. But I think this is good. Cause you know, sometimes if you make the ears too big, too small, too much to the side, too much on the top of the head, it starts looking like a different animal, right? So I think jaguars have medium sized ears and they're like, a little up high, but not too high. Uh-oh, there's a gardener. Sorry, guys. But there is no grass. I know, there's here. no grass, so I don't know why they're outside. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed that parable, because it's very confusing. <laughs> okay, so now the face from the ears, I want it to kind of come out a little bit. Sometimes they're a little furry, especially when they're babies. Whenever you want to draw something and make it look more like a baby, which I think we talked about when we were drawing creatures, you make the head bigger, bigger than the body. <laughs> or when you guys were babies, your heads were huge and you had little bodies, right? Yep, some of you are, might be a little, still like that a little bit. <laughs> Aubrey, did you have a ginormous head when you were born? Little tiny, little tiny hands, little tiny feet. Did you have anybody here born with the tail? No. Oh, Braddock, you were? <laughs> Braddock had a tail. Whoa. Well, I wonder if they let you keep that tail. Okay. So now, oh, the other thing to make it look more like, oh, let me get some little hairs on the top. Other thing to make it look more like a baby is big eyes. You guys had giant eyes when you were born. Do you guys know that your eyes never grow? You're born with the size of your eyes that you're going to have your whole life. Right? That's why, like, your eyes look so big when you're born, because they're always the same size. That would be crazy if an eye could grow. It, what if it just kept growing your whole life and you'd have one ginormous, we'd have like giant Cyclops eyes. Anyway, fun facts. Um, okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna maybe making him lower and bigger, make him look more uh, cute. If you want cute, you don't have to do cute. Hmm, mine kind of like an alien. <laughs> hey, no laughing. Alien kitty. Kay. Make green eyes and then it will be really alien. And then make sure to put a little uh, 
circle here for the? What's it called? The? Nose, mouth. 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 Aubrey's saying it. Toucan. What, what is it? I know. Snout. snout. Thank you. It was on the tip of my snout. <laughs> muzzle. Muzzle, snout, the rounded part that comes forward. Like we have one. Did you guys know we have a, a muzzle? We don't have a snout, but we have a muzzle. It's where, that, where our teeth are. That's why it protrudes on our face to hold all of our teeth. Can I see your teeth, everybody? Let me see. Yep. Okay. Jesse has teeth. Kinsey has teeth. Aubrey has teeth. Bray has some teeth. Malachi, do you have any teeth? I know. There we go. We have a, use a few. I don't have teeth. Let's see. Parabo. <laughs> <laughs> you have okay. a few. Okay. Oh, there's no food in there. Okay. That's enough. Uh, okay, that's enough. <laughs> All right. So back here. Sorry, guys. Back to business. Okay. Uh, we need the little. Oh, here's the snout muzzle. Make a cute little nose. What kind of noses do they have? Kind of similar to a cat's, right? Maybe a little bigger. Something like that. And then doop, doop, little mouth. This doesn't look as cute. Whiskers, maybe. I think, do you guys know, do tigers have kind of, or jaguars or leopards, whatever they are, they still have the same kind of cat eye with like the sliver? I think they do, I'm not sure. This doesn't look like a baby. Oh well. He looks, it looks, like, like, it looks like a grumpy kitty. Oh, well, yeah, he's, he's probably, maybe he's hungry. Okay, <laughs> so now let's finish the body. So later we'll talk about spots, if you guys want to do some leopard spots, or jag whatever they are. So jaggedy hair here, jaggedy here. Make like a little collar. Sometimes it's white right there. Um, and now let's, I'm going to draw the paws. So following this line, curve down, follow the paw out here. And on the other side, same thing. But now in the middle, right under here, make a little straight line and then a line going down to follow the paw. And if you want, you can make little curved lines like this to help show the, uh, uh oh, you guys are gonna get mad at me, I don't remember the word. What, toes, nails, claws? Claws. Claws. If Elastic. you want, you can give it, yeah. If you want, you can give it some fake nails. Maybe she went to the salon. There we go. Maybe she's got some acrylic nails. Maybe she's got some jewels hanging on the nails. You never know. I have a question really quick. You want to go to the salon? No. If, they're, if you're in the middle of a jungle or in the middle of nowhere, how would there be a salon? <laughs> because, Kinsey, this is my jungle. I Just right behind this tree is a resort that has ice cream and nail salons. Okay. <laughs> Right? Aubrey's there right now. It looks like she is. She's at the resort. <laughs> okay. One more toe. This one, it doesn't have its nails done yet. So it's going to look a little sad. Um, and then the tail. Oh my gosh, he does look grumpy. <laughs> How do I make it not grumpy? Mine looks like his eyes are swollen. You know what? I think swollen? He still looks grumpy. <laughs> what? Caraman's laughing at me. Okay. Well, you know what, guys? Can't all be winners. Maybe, Natalia, you should draw eyelashes. You know what? That's a great idea. Eyelashes help everything. There. Is I that know. better? I mean, they're different. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what, you guys? Now you can see that I, I need some help. You know what, you guys? Leave my kitty alone. Okay. That looks I know how to make your kitty look nice. It like it's mad and it's eyes twitching. Well, maybe because it, it, they used chemicals at the nail salon. Okay, so now let me draw the tail. The tail, is it going to go up high? Yeah, I don't want it to go low because I have coming out of here. I'll make the tail maybe, I don't know, wrap in like that. But you remember, you can make practice where you want to put the tail. It can go anywhere. I know his eyes are twitching. Her eyes, his eyes, whatever. It's eyes. It's eyes, excuse me. Okay, so now the, my, the funnest part for me, because I loved Leopard when I was younger. You know what, the ears might need to be bigger. Maybe that'll make it look younger. Anyway, okay, my issues. Um, <laughs> uh, we didn't practice spots, but um, the key to drawing Leopard spots, because I love Leopard, 
is they're kind of like this jagged upside down U, okay, like that. And then usually, sometimes they have a dot near it. Sometimes you can just do, a, or, or like a halfway C, like a bean, and then you do the other one again, and a dot. And then you can fill it in with another dot, but it's all these like kind of weird shaped U's almost with a dot nearby. And that's kind of the secret to drawing leopard slide. And oh, and sometimes you can draw it like a jaggedy uh, O. So if you, it's a, just a combination of all of those and that's how you draw leopard spots. And then you just keep filling it in wherever you see fit. Leopard spots are my favorite. I love, oh, that's why I'm wearing leopard, you guys. Did you notice my favorite? pattern. Oh dear. I can tell it's Braddock's favorite pattern too. Okay, and then oh maybe a few spots on the head. Oh no, are we gonna run out of time to color? You know, this always happens. If you guys color, will you send me your drawings so I could see? I would love to see. Um okay, uh what else? What can we quickly add? Yeah, the toucan, but let me just throw in some plants just so you guys can see. Oh, we were going to draw the, what is it called? Tabor? Taper? This animal, the taper. Have you guys seen that? It looks like an anteater. I don't know that animal, so I, I didn't think. Mine looks like a horse. Let's see, pear bows. I never, I don't really know that animal very well, so I didn't draw it. That's cool. You can also invent animals. Remember when we drew creatures? You can just throw a lot of creatures into the world. Let's see Ellie's. Really nice, Ellie. Great kitty. Okay, so just if you guys want to do filler, you can also, from the sides of your page, you can always, like, in the foreground, remember, it's uh, things closest to you can be larger. So sometimes, just to make it pretty, I draw, like, a, a line, curved line like this, and then I have, like, the leaves coming from it. You can also just draw a big leaf. So sometimes if you just want to fill in some area, you can just draw the leaves. Or um, also like a flower. Like, and, and remember, this is the rainforest, so things grow big and huge. And you can also draw lots of lines for trees in the far, far background. And vines coming through. Little ropes make it feel like it's like ropes hanging. Okay, so let's see. I think we have time for one more. Okay, Parable is going to show us how to do the toucan. Do you want me to talk or are you going to talk? No, I want to show how to stop. Okay, Natalie, you got to show us your drawing when you're done. Okay, Parable, you ready? Mm -hmm. Do you need the toucan paper or are you good? No, not the toucan of sloth. Oh, we, we already came. Okay, Parable is going to show us another sloth and then I'll quickly show the toucan. That's leaves. I wonder if you just do this. You don't have to. Can I move your hands so people can see her? Nice. That's the head, that's a little hair, okay. Kind of can't see because your hand is covering. Don't forget the handbag, the purse. <laughs> Yeah, so remember animals, whenever you draw their paws on uh, trees, remember those curves we did, usually they curve around. Even if it's like a jaguar or a lion, you can draw the curve and later you can add bends. Um, but a lot of animals, they do just curve, like a monkey's would kind of curve.
curve and wrap around a tree. Just like you guys, have you guys ever hugged a tree? Yes. Your hand yes. kind of wraps around it. Mm. That's beautiful, honey. So that's the sloth I like to do. Cool. Yeah, so you don't even have to curve yours. You just made yours kind of grab it like that, and that's fine too. Great. You can even erase this to so make it look like it's attached. Okay, now let's quickly do a toucan. So, uh oh, look, I wanna, I'm gonna do a, some, see, just some branches so it looks nicer. I mean, some leaves, I'm sorry. You guys know my words get all confused. Um, okay, I'll fill in a toucan. Oh my goodness. Where Where's my the toucan? <laughs> Where should the toucan be? All um, right. Here's mine. Oh, well, let's see, Malachi. Hold on, let's see yours. Let me make you big. Let me show you. Here's baby. <gasps> wow, did you put a panda in there, Malachi? Um, I actually made monkeys. Cool. I love it. All the green is great. Okay. So I'm gonna do my toucan. It should be in a tree. Um, hmm. Why should it be in a tree? I guess it doesn't have to be. Or you can Maybe just make it flying. Oh gosh, yeah. I didn't practice that though, but here, I'm just gonna do the walking around. And then just make its wings. I know, you know what, look, here. I'm gonna erase right here. I'm gonna make a branch over here. He's just right here. He's gonna be over here. So, you know what? I'm gonna draw him over here so you guys can see. Sorry, I just changed my mind because I realized you can't see it over there. So he's gonna be walking around. So first I'll make a little circle for the head. And then- Mommy parrot. I know, honey. Yeah, well, and then um, I'm gonna make this a straight line coming through here. And then a curve here. That's kind of the body. And now from the top of the head, this is where it makes it different than in other animals. You make this curve like this for the beak. And then a straight that goes back. To, well, it's a toucan. Toucans have really big beaks, right? Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. So now... Oh. Top for the eye, and then uh -oh. going around, around for the beak. I'm gonna uh -oh. that line. Uh -oh. One second, okay. And then a straight line in the middle to show the beak, and then yes, the the feathers, the top wing. And usually it's on a branch. Actually, maybe, the, yeah, here we go. Here's a branch because it's coming. We don't know what this is. Maybe we're like the angle that we're looking at things. Maybe there's a branch, branch coming through here. And just that wrapping um, that we practiced, his claws, what are they called? Claws, toes, feet are wrapping around the branch. There we go. So it's very similar to the other birds we drew, um, except the, uh, the beak is much larger, wider and longer. You know, Mommy, that one looks sort of like a hummingbird, just just doesn't have a different, just has a different beak. Yeah, you're right. I mean, maybe I didn't do the body that great. I need to practice that one, but the beak is what we, uh, the main thing I was trying, you know, going for. Um, so maybe you'll go back and kind of, you know, uh, make some rocks and some plants near your waterfall. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a, like a, a snake or a serpent coming out of the water, sea or serpent. sea serpent, sea snake, I don't know what it is. Maybe like you, maybe there's a mermaid in here, I don't know. Do you guys know if there's mermaids in the rainforest? Yes. She's like, hi guys, hey, I'm a mermaid, what's up? The toy for you. Yes, buddy. Let's see yours, hold on one second. I'm gonna grab it so we can all see. One second, buddy. Oh, cool. I love that, buddy. Look at that waterfall. Perfect. Down so I can chill. Go down my thing. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my gosh, now I can see the animal. What is that one? It could be. Oh, that's the sun. That's the sun, and this is like a dark wall, and that's a cave in the water. Whoa, a cave. That's really cool. Some like leaves falling, and that's some like bark. That's I love it. Really nice work. Thank you so much, buddy. All right, does anyone else want to show us theirs? Kinsey. Let's see. Oh, Kinsey, let's see, or Bray. Whoa, oh my gosh, look at that jaguar. She did such a great job in the, what? Your animals are made, oh, look at that snake. Everything, Bray, you're just getting better and better. So cool. Really nice, thank you for showing. Here's Parabos. Excuse me. Oh, I love it. Oh, she even put like a, is that an alligator? Yeah. Great. Oh, and a fish. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, is that Malachite? Or no, Kinsey. Oh, this is great spots, honey. Okay, let's see. That was Kinsey, I think. Wait, where'd Kinsey go? Oh, there she is. I'm sorry, Kinsey. There we are. Whoa, cool. Nice tooth can. Nice. Ah, oh, see, you guys all worked out your um, your jaguar's eyes better than me. <laughs> I put wings on the jaguar. You put wings? That is super cool. Here, let's see. Let's see if we see any animals where Aubrey is. I almost see a snake in the tree behind you, Aubrey. Whoa, there it is. Watch out, Aubrey. <laughs> Wait, Jessie's showing us hers. Oh, look at the little baby jaguar and the monkey. Nice work. I like the wrapping. All right, guys. Well, thank you so, so much. All righty. I guess we'll have to um, color this in. I really so, like your fish, Parabo. Thank you. She's had practice because she just got a fish. All right. So we'll be coloring it in. And then next week, I'm not sure what we're gonna draw. We're thinking of, of fairies and gnomes. But, um, but yeah, okay. So thank you everybody. Send me your drawings if you want. And we will, thank you Ellie for being here. Let's see, hip hip hooray for Ellie. Hip hip hooray. All right. Thank you guys, we'll see you next week. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. <laughs> Practice your breath. <gasps> bye, Aubrey. Bye, buddy. Bye, Braddock. Bye, Brad. Bye, Kinsey. Bye, Jesse. Bye, Malachi. Bye, Gray. <laughs>